Bring back in former Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz and the Wall Street Journal columnist. He's Bill McGurn. Gentlemen, good to see you. Okay, Trump is pulling in crowds, small crowds for Biden. They're scripted appearances. He's been, and you know, the thing is, first to you, Jason, Biden has been using the same economic messaging since before the midterms with no effect on his low job approval rating. He's trending at record historic lows, the worst presidency for approval since the Truman era. Well, Bidenomics is uh, inflation. Uh, that's what he created. Uh, on day one, he systematically attacked the energy industry. And if you don't have self-sufficiency on energy, your energy prices are going to be high. It hurts us internationally on the, on the, uh, the global front. But domestically, it hurts every single sector. And if you, it, Donald Trump understood this. That's why gas was more than a dollar cheaper under Donald under uh, President Trump than it is under Joe Biden right now. And Biden has no desire yeah. to change. So I, you're going to continue with inflation and you're going to have higher energy prices. You know, what people on the Democrat side, Bill McGurn, to what Jason is saying, don't understand about Trump is he talks with you. He doesn't talk at you. And he has he's the best retail politician, better than Bill Clinton. By the way, someone is leaking at the White House against Biden. Look at Axios reporting Biden is cursing and verbally abusing White House staff, that no one is safe. They don't want to meet with him. They don't want to meet with him alone, that he's, in prone, he's, he's prone to yelling in private. How can he be ready for presidential debates when he's acting like this, abusing people? I don't think he can, and I think they have a double problem. The more they insulate him now from events and public appearances, the less prepared he'll be. He cannot get away with what he did the last time, hang out in his basement. And any time he appears with any other candidate, and not just Republicans, you know, if he deigned to debate, you know, Gavin Newsom or Robert Kennedy Jr., um, he would have the same problem. He, his, his age and weakness will come through next to anyone of normal, healthy vigor. Yeah, his bandwidth appears to be shrinking. Let's watch the president again falter. You're going to sh see video. He, the critics are saying he appears weak in London. Watch him ignore questions on why he's a president who campaigned on decency. Jason, he's refusing to acknowledge his seventh granddaughter by Hunter Biden. And his White House is now trying to blame White House workers for cocaine in the West Wing, They're throwing them under the bus. Watch this. The Situation Room is not in use and has not been in use for months because it is currently under construction. We are using uh, an alternate Situation Room in the Eisenhower Executive Office building. So the only people coming in and going out of the sit room in this period have been workers who are getting it ready to go. President, any update on the cooking? Mr. President, I cluster munitions. Why now? We've run out of ammunition. Can we just say once and for all whether or not the cocaine belonged to the Biden family. They were not here Friday. They were not here Saturday. They were not here Sunday. They were not even here Monday. They came back on Tuesday. So to ask that question is actually incredibly irresponsible. Okay, so he appears confused, Jason, in London. You know, it's incredibly irresponsible for the White House press secretary to say that because the pool report from that Friday, June 30th, shows the Bidens, including Hunter Biden, were in fact at the White House. And now you have Jake Sullivan smearing workers at the White House, offering no proof that they may have been connected to cocaine in the West Wing? Yeah, the, the, the United States Secret Service, I do believe they know the, the answer. They need to release that answer. There are cameras everywhere. You have to pass multiple uh, security checkpoints. Uh, you can't just wander around the White House or the old executive office building without triggering where you're going and what you're doing. So uh, to systematically blame somebody else and say it's automatically not the Bidens, they don't know. So they're making that up. Yeah, they're making it up ad hoc and on the fly. You know, uh, Bill, there's also this, too. Nancy Pelosi's leading the president's 2024 fundraising. Bill, why is Nancy Pelosi silent on how the president still would not acknowledge his seventh granddaughter by Hunter Biden? Pelosi said she's all about the children. So is Biden. Look at New York Times' Maureen Dowd going after Biden's cruelty and lack of decency on that when he's campaigned, uh, claiming he's going to restore decency. What's decent about this? Yeah, there's nothing decent about it. Um, it's interesting. It's posed in a, as an attack by the right on Joe Biden, but it came from Maureen Dowd. And the New York Times talked about how the president instructs staff 
that six grandchildren, not seven. Um, this is entirely of their own doing. Whatever Hunter did, if the president just said, I have seven grandchildren and did some things with, with uh, the seventh grandchild, uh, everything would be all right. So I think it's it's going to lodge in, in people this double standard, you know, wanting to be to present yourself as the ultimate family man, but not behaving like one. Got it. Jason Chaffetz, Bill McGurn, thanks for joining us. Good to see you guys. You'll be back on soon.